Kumu insists Gauteng will come to a standstill tomorrow, but Johannesburg members have worked throughout the week. They're fed up with money missing from a six million rand fund. Workers also say current provincial leaders hijacked elections. All our members tomorrow, including Gauteng, will be participating in the match tomorrow in Johannesburg. Today it was business as usual. Renewed calls for mass action have fallen on deaf ears. There's no way we will be participating in any mass strike tomorrow. The reason why is because some who is not giving us answers regarding the six million that's missing, so they want to benefit from us. The national call to down tools may not materialize if one of Samu's biggest branches, Gauteng, refuses to play ball. Workers are expected to gather here tomorrow, but corruption allegations within the province continue to bedevil the strike. And some members feel it's enough for them to choose work over the picket line. In other parts of the province, some services have come to a halt. Pretoria is using outside contractors to clean up. There has been some reports of violent intimidation and one of the services affected by this is our bus service. We had to suspend that service yesterday after some of our buses were thrown with rocks. In northwest, the protest is winding down, but a handful of workers continued trashing the streets. Violent scenes in Pietermaritzburg, police tried to contain the situation. Intimidation and loitering is ongoing in Nelson Mandela Bay. Eight Samoa members were arrested this morning after a scuffle with police. Streets remain strewn with litter in some parts of Mpumalanga. A heavy police presence kept strikers in check. Meanwhile, the city of Cape Town was granted an interdict to prevent the intimidation of non-striking workers. It also compels essential services employees to return to work. Now this softer days of violent protesting there. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News, Johannesburg.